focus uh, of my um, graduate work, my uh, doctorate, was in uh, sociology of education and international relations. I met Elisa with her project. I got really passionate and now it's four years and a half actually. Yeah, they got involved and I'm the project officer for Italy and I am a facilitator also for Fantasia programs. He searched for a long time what I was going to do my mission in life. This to find something that united to the culture with the development of social development is something I always knew was a bit my direction. The facilitator is uh, somebody who is um, uh, relating to a group and is trying to facilitate, to make easier uh, a transformative process within a group. It can be a group of adults or it can be a group of kids. Basically you are not teaching, you are giving uh, some uh, hints, or some directions and then the group is starting to relate. Fantasia does not reinvent the wheel. It combines what we believe are the best practices that are out there and curates it into a process and combines values that address and support the adults to deliver a program uh, not only from the content side but adds processes and relationship aspect to uh, the delivery. Estamos convencidos que no puedes separar el desarrollo de los adultos con los programas educativos. En el mundo existe la facilitación creativa, existe gente que trabaja sobre esta idea de los lugares seguros, hay gente que trabaja con el arte, eh, y hay gente que hace entrenamiento con adultos, pero lo que yo buscaba era crear un modelo que sea de verdad completo. Y eso es lo que es. Lo que a mí me sorprendió es que logramos entrar en la escuela pública en Italia. Nosotros utilizamos arte y lo que yo defino la educación comprehensive la llamo porque es una educación a 360 grados jardinaje nutrición coding eh, las artes eh, salud utilizamos estas herramientas para desarrollar las competencias de vida cuando alguien va en una entrevista hoy de trabajo si sí le van a pedir claro sus eh, sus diplomas y qué experiencia tiene en el espe específico trabajo que está ahí para hacer. Pero le van a preguntar también cómo usted se comporta cuando hay conflictos, cómo gestiona los conflictos. Well, it is compatible because, because it's complementary. We don't think that classical way of teaching is as something uh, wrong but there is something missing. The life skills, uh, they are not in the school, right? The life skills like building your self-confidence, building your self-awareness, uh, believe, like trust yourself or trust somebody else. It's a paradox because those are qualities, uh, capabilities uh, that uh, then you are asked to have when you're working, for example, when you will be employed, they're like, oh, uh, how is uh, the teamwork capabilities? And they're like, uh, yeah, uh, am I supposed to have a degree? In the processes that we uh, have incorporated in the approach are the big processes, the frameworks, let's say, as well, 
so from project-based learning, emotional learning, service learning, um, that kind of provides a, a guideline and an idea, provide ideas for the teachers. Um, and then you have the micro processes that also can be in a way taught as content is of how to greet young people before they enter the classroom so that from the very beginning they feel the initial stage of, of being connected. It is a philosophy in the sense that we have uh, um, a combination of many uh, important and solid theories that build basically the approach. But what we try to be is very practical. So whenever we go into school, we have a very simple materials. All the activities are presented like games. For example, you can use uh, plastic glasses, just to say, you know, like games. Because we, we need to start again to use the imagination. The creativity is, uh, is there, but we forget to, to take it out. Behind the play, there is always something deeper. And the educators, he or she knows what is the purpose and through some guiding question, he or she will find it. And we offer um, a support and supervision, let's say, monitoring. Uh, there is a kind of workbook that you can keep and we have calls to check that the things are going well, the process is going well. But we will follow the arc till the end because that is important. It's a transformative process. Mucho de lo que nosotros hacemos es en partnership. Por ejemplo, en Italia nuestro gran partner, aparte de la escuela pública, es Save the Children Italy. Ellos nos pagan por el servicio de entrenar sus adultos, sus empleados. So, for the after school programs, we are working with Save the Children as a partner in nine cities. Disadvantage and unprivileged, like for example, they experience uh, violence they can experience um, drug addiction, or um, bullying, or uh, maybe also poverty of education in general. PIES is Partnership for Youth Empowerment. Ha desarrollado un sistema de entrenamiento de adultos que se enfoca en la facilitación creativa. Y Muchos de sus entrenadores son responsables de haber entrenado a nuestros italianos y nuestros egipcios. Lo que Fantasia hace es no solo llevar facilitación creativa, pero lo tiene que adaptar a la cultura también local. No es solo un idioma, es cómo se trabaja con esta cultura. One is, is experiential learning. In the programs, everything we do, is through hands-on learning, so basically learning by doing. Minimizing the talking, to engage all your senses and to engage the body, to engage the mind, of course, uh, but to learn something when you experience something. Then the, also another important part is, is the feedback, feedback loop. The testing and failing and you know, encouraging skills in young people really prepares them for life and you know, where they are now and for the future. If I fail in something really serious, I already have enough positive kind of experiences that showed me that I failed and I tried again and I succeeded. Then I can get up quicker or I know the resources, I know how to get help or ask for help. It's so important for us to be able to well, express ourselves, to have the tools to uh, communicate to, uh, to another person, um, tools to uh, listen deeply, um, tools to relate, to connect to, to another person. Part of the self-expression is also the ability to communicate across differences, because again, um, there is a there is a pressure. There is especially it starts it starts in um, you know in kindergarten, late kindergarten, where kids are starting to look at each other and compare. And it's like, oh, I'm this way, or and you're like this. And it's like, oh, maybe I should be. And then there's peer pressure, and right. So so we're we're kind of pushed into conformity, 
and a lot of the times we lose ourselves. What we believe in is that the best you can be is to be truly yourself. It is all about embracing difference and all types of difference. It has to come hand in hand with working closely and contributing to the community. Because again, we're social human beings and it is not only about individual self. So looking at the world right now, right, we need, we believe, we need connections. Active young people who will really kind of stand up and constructively uh, be able to find solutions and work together to make this world a better place without judgment, without fear, without being on their phone all the time and kind of be locked in a bubble of, of, of social media or it is really um, this attempt to work towards um, connections and connections that benefit communities and then hopefully the communities get together and you know benefit the world.